the belief that if it can be controlled, profited off of, managed, recorded, and turned into a process, that it's essentially not evil. It's simply a tool to get to power and essentially higher levels of knowledge and being and to be able to command in this realm. But it goes against uh, a higher will, power, higher form of spirituality that we basically know as love. What it breaks down into <clears throat> is that uh, it basically all comes down to whatever this black goo substance is. I was informed, I, I talked to people, I talked to them physically, I met with them in my life physically. There are the highest levels of power that we have in any form of governmental control, or religious control, or even spiritual control other than the loving aspect. And it comes down to the fact that the process of awakening by utilizing the darker forces drains our heart chakra. It, it shuts it off and stops it from being able to influence our mind. It trains the mind to be power, more powerful than the heart chakra, more powerful than the heart or the emotion, so that the lower parts of the mind can overcome and overtake those aspects of the body and eventually the whole spirit, the whole being. Apparently, the black goo is a form of nanotech, nano, uh, nanotech technology. And it basically spits out a type of form of electronic radiation or radio waves, but they're literally a type of nanotech computer binary essence or something. It's apparently energetic, but it can solidify into this little black goo, literally. And it's the condensed, what we would call negative energy of this realm, of our planet of our psyche, of our entire psyche of psyche of humanity and all the negative emotions. I'm having trouble starting to figure out how to talk about this. Um, and so this thing is passed around the churches, it's passed and passed around through history. It's the black cube, the black stone, the essence of basically dark conscious darkness. It's apparently a form of AI consciousness that does not contain a trinary or any type of pattern that includes heart or emotions. Humans, or I guess I was explaining to me they're a trinary consciousness because of that it basically extends into a, an infinite pattern of ascending. You can have with a pattern of three, like with time, you can have an infinite pattern of continuation. With binary consciousness, it's limitation, it's limited, it's linear. It's ones and zeros, and it doesn't have the complexity that allows for emotional experience. So a being who's entirely binary consciousness won't have compassion. We equate this to the reptilian brain and the reptilian uh, form of animals on the planet because uh, that's essentially the complexity within their existence. Eat, eat the young and the weak. Eat anything in, in, in your way. And there is, it's not like don't feel bad because you're doing that. There is no emotional aspect to that. You don't have to not feel bad doing that if you only have reptilian activation, you know, in your system. I'm not sure about the reality of the other beings, which do seem to either have ability to uh, project psychically and take on any form, including a human form. But I don't know whether they're actually as they sometimes appear, which is as a full-on walking lizard that has no emotions, but uh, not extremely intelligent, but a, a, an intelligent enough consciousness to manipulate and be devious, and that is the only way they can get a, a rise out of the situation. Whereas a humans, in a way, the opposite, because if you're fully heart, you know, filled, loving, being devious and deceptive and getting what you want through force would simply make you feel better. That's how it works. We like to progress through emotion and connection and unity. And uh, it's not a complete opposite. Like their race doesn't connect through unifying and working together. It's just that that unity, that overall consciousness doesn't have the heart aspect that we have. The strange part is they may be doing this for power over us, over our realm and ultimately over our spirits to the point where they want to absorb our soul energy, our heart energy, and make themselves a little bit more complete. What it comes down to is that the bases, the underground bases, are where this project, where this process takes place. 
they take people who are aware enough to see the psychic energy, they take them down there using, as it's been explained recently, cloning technology and mind-to-mind -mind transfer using microwave radiation and some type of, somehow they figured out how to isolate and actually locate and manipulate what consciousness energy is. They call it a bio-mind. They don't call it a soul or anything. It's a bio-mind to them. So there's a whole scientific working model of it. It's starting to come out now. It's starting to be released. This is a phase of awakening. I'm supposed to tell you everything that I've experienced. Everybody else that's out there that experienced these things is supposed to tell you the same thing. There are probably millions of targeted individuals, as you can see through Facebook and the internet and all the people coming out. Um, I'm not sure if everyone's been down there. I do know they have the whole... All the movies are just games they're playing with us to see if we can catch on. The whole Men in Black Neuralizer, yeah, they had that. They had that since they started this because that's what they used to make it so that memories basically go into a big white portal in your head and then to get back to that you have to be triggered and awakened and pushed and pushed and through therapy basically until you remember. Other than that, you don't remember. It's out of your mind. Somehow we pushed and were, I guess, allowed to awaken everyone who, who remembers, and on top of that, when it was really happening, it, the blocks didn't work anyway. We would wake up down there in the tunnels and the caves, strapped up, and not all of it would get washed out, not all of it would get whited out. So we'd have, normally, if it's repressed, you have symptoms of the actual event, but you don't know what it is. So there's depression, erratic behavior, um, sickness, or triggered to certain situations, a horror movie where the people get tortured and uh, emotional attachment, you have all these disturbances, but, and again, they do tend to get healed when you re, un, unsuppress the memory and stop repressing it yourself and begin to, to heal. But we have to hurt to the degree where it almost destroys you um, because everything they do down there is based upon the heart chakra. It's based upon getting you into a, a vulnerable, loving, tender state and ripping that from you in any way that you've seen in the movies, in horrors, in your nightmares, probably beyond anything you can imagine in your nightmares. Imagine, again, they have mind tech using this technology. Um, they can basically pull, it all started years ago, like with the electrodes on the brain where you could sense the electromagnetic energy, the uh, ultra low frequencies coming out of the brain, the low hertz. You can detect then where the heat is activating, where uh, where the electricity is, and then you can see the emotions, the thought, uh, not yet the thoughts, but you can see the emotions and what kind of state, whether the basics of it, whether they're angry or sad or distracted, and, you know. And that got more and more refined until they can pull the exact emotions, and I think before it went from there, they turned it around and said, okay, well, let's put electrodes, uh, not electrodes, but uh, electromagnets, and create that field into the brain and see if we can recreate emotions, re recreate everything that we could detect out of that, that before, just recreate the pattern. So they got that and they can actually, you know, using a helmet, they can make you go into a God state, they can make you feel fear. They pulse it into the amygdala and, uh, amygdala and it, um, it creates uh, a maximal fear effect in whatever hallucinations that person will then begin taking on in whatever hell realm they send this person into. They say they're doing it so that a switch happens, a, a key and unlocking and enlightening, which is when the, the brain decides that the amygdala no longer has relevant information and it turns all the fear, switches it and turns it into enlightenment, into power. That doesn't work for everybody. Maybe over time we'll all see that. But there are people that are not, uh, they're not doing that. They're just getting tortured to fucking hell and being put and left in hell. And when they come back here, it doesn't matter because if their soul, if their mind, if their heart is down there, they're not here. They're stuck in time, in memory, and whoever you're interacting with is not that person. They're not possessed, but they're just lost in their own mind. This is what they're doing to people. Apparently, it's a part of a larger plan that these people will, in a way, either help humanity, uh, the, the targeted, tortured individuals, and uh, through that, the torturers basically claim they're helping humanity.